Hey everybody, this is Jeff here once again, bring another uh, update, progress video on the 1701 TOS Enterprise. You can see here we're starting to get some uh, getting putty work done on her and everything. Stuff started working on these seams. Uh, these are almost about you know finished and everything, and about ready for that first coat of primer to see if there are any issues I'm gonna have to go back and resolve, which usually there are. Um, but I was wanting to talk about the rear of this hull back here. I remember before on the video when I first got it together and you know, I talked about the gap that was back here. I was wanting to show something what I did to actually work to correct that and as you can see here you see a little white line right there in between it where, that, um, where that would be you know where the seam is that's a piece of sheet styrene and here it is right here um, while I use it of course you know this one's been used quite a bit um, and you know this is I believe zero six zero of an inch thick uh, and what I did was I just cut a little bit off as you can see there's actually some right here as well and I started going ahead and going over that with uh, putty I meant to do a little video showing that one off as well but you know hey you can still kind of see it and everything especially right here where that dome will be but um, I cut it to fit right off up in there and I you know, of course glued on both sides because what I was finding was that once I was going through and I was uh, sanding down, working on the seam and everything, I started getting a crack in my putty. You know, showing it, well, it's not really together well and this is flexing quite a bit. So I stuffed it up in there. I actually kind of had to spread it a little bit to, you know, fit that off up in there. But what that means is now it's coming together on itself and of course it was CA to, you know, all get out. Well, not that much because I got this light right here, but, you know, I got CA on there as well and stuff. And now that's nice and glued, it's rigid, it's not going anywhere. You know, it makes it just that, you know, what, point or six, ten, six hundredths of an inch wider in the rear. It's not making very much of a difference. Or it's not making any difference at all. So, you know, I had to do that. And then back here, I got the fantail on the ship, so it was looking really nice and everything. I don't have any power going to the ship right now, so I can't show you what that looks like. But, you know, the lights are all and they're nice and masked off and everything. So I have to go through now and add in the color that um, is to be on there and they'll be looking nice. Uh, but what I wound up finding as well was that once I got the shuttle bay fitted up in there, it was sticking out forwards the same thickness at you know six tenths six hundred whatever you know of a inch you know I had a little gap right there so I had to use the sheet styrene right there as well if I can get the focus yeah there you go and you can see it right there I had to use that sheet styrene and stick it in there on both sides so that that would be more flush and everything and then I go behind with the putty as well to clean that up and I also have to do the same on the bottom as well well I had to get putty on the inside and the bottom as well because it kind of caused a little issue right there so uh, I was just kind of wanting to point out a little bit of issue that I had with this model kit and getting it together um, and what I had to do to get that corrected and everything and stuff but it was you know a simple fix really really easy I am going through now around you know in the back and getting putty up around there and getting the uh, seams filled so there are no light leaks you know no light bleeding through because I did have quite a bit bleeding on the side from the lighting for these side windows so um, just want to show update on that gonna start filing this stuff down and everything sanding it down getting it nice and smooth and hopefully come back I gotta get some more issues get some more uh, mask over a couple of my windows that's come off during the sanding part uh, phase but get those corrected and then hopefully you know I'll be back here and this ship will at least have a have some primer on it and may actually be the whole color so it depends on how fast we're going and stuff so but you know we all know about sanding priming putty sanding putty priming then if any more putty and sanding is needed doing it again till we get it where we want it to be so but um you know that's kind of what we got going on right about now uh, I'm tell you the sanding is really coming along quite well actually you know just rub my finger up across here it's just very very smooth and everything and while I'm using you know what I'm doing to get that I believe pointed out before but you know I said this um, this uh, sandpaper this finishing kit right here I got, got a Hobby Lobby for nine bucks and you know wet sanding because like I said it is waterproof so definitely making use of that and it is definitely helping out on all of this sanding it's making it so smooth and the higher up you go like I say it goes up to 12,000 grit sandpaper you know that is awesome it once you get above 1,000 your sanding almost becomes polishing 
it you know is so fine and everything and stuff so you use quite a bit more of that though because it is so fine that it collects the sandpaper I mean it collects the uh, dust on it quite well in the old world muddy type because once you add once you uh, shoot it down with water to do your wet sanding you know it really picks it up really really quick like and everything but it's really really cool I mean yeah, I, I, I love this I'll definitely be picking up some more of that and be using that on every single kit that I work on from now on so long as they carry the product so um, all right well you know uh, like I said uh, go forth on on this kit and work on getting everything uh, played up so I can have it nice and clean and hopefully by the next video uh, I have uh, the shuttle bay doors on and this dome on and maybe you know this secondary hole the uh, you know have it the color that I'm wanting to use on the ship okay. so so that's the current progress on the model kit uh, hopefully by the next video I should have some primer on the on this uh, secondary hole and Hopefully maybe have started a little bit of lighting inside of the saucer section So we'll take a look at that and see how that's progressing So but until we get to that point everybody out there building models keep on building them And I will talk to you guys later. Have a good day